The next question, please. My name is Mohammad Sadat. I am a chemical engineer in Hindustan Petroleum. In Quran, it is mentioned that it is Allah who decides the characteristics and the personality of a person inside his or her mother's womb. In the field of genetics, this field has advanced so much that nowadays uh, parents can tailor make their children. If they want to have a very bright student, they can have it by just having that genetic code changed. Now, isn't this contradictory with uh, Quran? The brother posed the question that today genetics field has advanced and it's possible that we can change the genetics of, of the child that is going to be born. Quran says that Allah is one who shapes, who forms, and I do agree with that. Quran says in several places. So does it not mean it's contract in the Quran? No, brother, it is not. When it gives the statement, Quran says, without the power of Allah, it is not possible. Without the power of Allah, it is not possible at all. For example, Quran says in Surah Rahman, chapter 55, verse number 33, that with power and skill, you will be able to penetrate the heaven and the earth, not without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will penetrate the heavens and the earth, but only with permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So today, because people are going in the heaven, that does not mean the Quran is wrong. Quran says you can do, but with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's predicting that people will go in outer space, in moon, etc. But if Allah doesn't want, it cannot happen. And you know the incidents of Challenger. The Challenger tried to take off, what happened? It tried to challenge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what happened? Nothing. Even today, we say family planning. You do you know there's no family planning which is perfect? Even if you do tubic Tommy or Vatic Tommy, if Allah wants, He can yet bring easy conception to that lady, even if she practices permanent method, like tubic Tommy, or the husband does Vatic Tommy. Still, there are chances, but negligible chances, that the baby can be born. If Allah wishes, no one can stop. You do any family planning method in genetics also. If they are able to change, it's with Allah's permission. If Allah doesn't want, you cannot change at all. So few people are successful, all aren't successful. Those who are successful are with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who are not, Allah has not given them permission. Same way, family planning, those who are successful, Allah gives permission. Those who are not successful, Allah doesn't give permission. Hope that answers the question.